back for round two and the video I'm filming right now is movie one and my horror project. So the aforementioned movie was a movie I thought I would never ever rewatch because at first I thought it was like really stupid but uh I'm going to talk about It Follows. Yeah, that one. <laughs> so this movie was released in 2015. And uh, very, very small movie with a very interesting premise. So this is kind of like set up as like a slasher. But, the ultimate killing machine is an STD. <laughs> so, this movie centers around like a group of teenagers, especially like this young girl who uh, hooks up with this guy. They start dating and uh, they seem to be alright at first, but... The guy starts seeing, like, the entity of It Follows. So the only way for him to not see the entity is to pass it on to the girl he's dating. So he does, and now she's plagued with this curse. So after re-watching this movie, I found it to actually be very smart and very, it's weird, but the premise does work. Because it's basically like a PSA on safe sex. And uh, the entity can take the form of somebody you know and love or like a complete stranger. Now it doesn't look scary at first because the entity just like walks very slowly towards you. <laughs> but uh, I guess if they get close enough to you, they can kill you, obviously. Which also brings me into another aspect of this film. This is marketed as a slasher, but there are virtually no kills. There's only like two on-screen deaths, which also brings me into another awesome intro to this movie. And that is the girl just running away from this thing and she, uh, she goes to the beach and uh, she calls her dad and that's the last time you see her alive. You have like uh, a fade to black and then you just see her mangled corpse lying on the beach. That intro alone is what made me rewatch this movie. But the rest is very smart, but very dumb as well. Because uh, I do like these characters, but the premise seems kind of silly. But this is a very, very smart movie. And not to mention it's very well made by David Robert Mitchell. And... Uh, I do gotta say that uh, this movie is gonna make my top 50 horror movies of all time. So, like I said, I'm just gonna visit certain movies. There'll be like rewatches and like first time watches. But I just wanted to knock this one out first. So. I'm going to go ahead and give 
and follows an A because it is a very smart movie and a very clever movie at that. So, hope you guys enjoyed. That's all I got for this video. And uh, my next and final video for tonight is going to be my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem review. So look out for that here in a minute. And uh, also, I did forget to mention, I did start the MCU, but I came to the conclusion that I'm not going to rank all 32 of these suckers leading up to the Marvels. Because that's just going to be very redundant because I'm just going to like rank the MCU as a whole in November. So I'm glad I cleared that out of the way. But as of recording this, I'm on Captain America, the first Avenger. So I'm almost done with phase one. And also, I am working on the Disney Plus Marvel shows. So I might try and rank those, but in a separate video. Look forward to all that content coming in the next couple months. But uh, just going to focus on my horror project because there's a lot more to it. I got a lot of movies to watch and a lot of reviews to get out to you guys within the next couple months. So, look forward to my next horror review, which I will talk about on Friday, after my last Voyage of the Demeter review. So, glad I cleared all that up, and uh, that's all I got for this video. I'll see you for TMNT. Adios. Peace.